Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about some common math functions that you'll probably end up using for some of the code array challenges. Uh, so to use math functions in, uh, uh, in JavaScript, you don't actually need to import any math library. You have all your functions available under the math uh, global variable. So you could do math dot and then some function. Uh, so the math um, global variable also comes with some constants. So you have math dot e, which is Euler's number. So you get 2.718, etc. Uh, you have some other ones like the natural log logarithm of 2. Uh, you have math.pi. So if you ever need to use these variables, you don't actually need to declare their pi equals 3.14, etc. You can just use math, uh, math.pi. Uh, so some other JavaScript functions that you'll probably end up using. Uh, so let's start off with a really simple one, the absolute function. So if you have a variable like var x equals negative 10 and var y equals negative 2. So if you want to just calculate the difference between two variables, uh, you would do something like var diff equals x minus y. But in this case, you'll get a negative number. So the difference is 8, but you get negative 8 as a difference. So if you ever want, if you ever just want the, um, the difference between two numbers, you can do something like math.absolute x minus y, and this gives you uh, the difference, so it takes the absolute value, so you don't get negative numbers. So negative 10 and 2, you get 12. Negative 10 and negative 11, you get 1. So this math absolute is a really useful function. Uh, another useful way to use math absolute would be something like finding the range between the highest element in the largest element in a list and the smallest. So for example, we can do something like var max equals math dot max, which is um, a math function to get the maximum value of a list of numbers. So you could do 1, 2, 10, negative 4, 100. So now if you return max, you should get 100. And we can do the same thing for min. So we could do math.min, negative 1, 100, 2. Actually, you know what? Let's use the same numbers. So we use these same numbers and we turn min and we get negative 4. So now, if you wanted to get the range between these two numbers, you would do there diff equals math.absolute max minus min. And we have to return it, and we get 104. So it's getting the difference between negative 4 and 100, which gives us 104. Uh, so those are some useful functions. There are a lot of other functions that you can look up online. So you have some, you have like uh, the log function. So you could do math.log of 100. So this is um, the natural logarithm of 100, and you get 4.6. Uh, you also have var r equals the random, so math random ret returns a number, a random number between 0 and 1. So in this case we get 0 0.37, um, and yeah, and then there are some other, um, you have some trigonometry functions such as var t equals math dot tan, you have tangent, you have sine, cosine, so the tangent of a number 0.64. Uh, some other useful ones are math.square root, the square root of a number. So the square root of 100 will be, sorry, will be 10. Yeah. 